And yeah, the horrific details are coming out in court for the man accused for 13 murders and more than 50 rapes and 100 burglaries. This story has garnered so much attention and has affected so many people. Prosecutors had to find a room large enough to safely hold today's hearing. The once young and robust accused rapist and murderer now looking frail at 74 years old, Joseph D'Angelo was wheeled into the makeshift courtroom held at Sacramento State University to face the victims and the families he haunted. One victim was only 16 years old. Beth Snelling woke up to a man covering her nose and mouth with his hand whispering in a low raspy voice, you're coming with me. Don't scream or I'll stab you. Her father killed while saving her life. Today, decades later, there's justice. Murder in the first degree, how do you plead? D'Angelo started in 1975, sneaking into homes, raping dozens of women. The details, hard to hear. He blindfolded her and told her to lie face down. He returned to the bedroom to place more dishes on her husband's body and told him, quote, if these dishes fall, I'll kill everyone in the house. He then cut her nightgown in several places with a knife and proceeded to rape her. His first two murders, a young Sacramento couple walking their dog late one night. Each time he escaped, slipping away silently into the night, leaving communities terrified for years. According to DNA and detectives, D'Angelo left Sacramento raping women from the Bay Area moving through Central California to SoCal. In Ventura today, admitting to raping a woman in her home and bludgeoning the woman and her husband thereafter. Their daughter, Jennifer Carroll, has been waiting for this day. I think we all had come to terms that we would never see justice in this case. Neither one of them in any way, shape or form should have ever died this way. And the level of brutality this man absolutely decompensated and brutalized these people in the murders. The former police officer was arrested outside of his Sacramento County home in April 2018 after DNA from a crime scene matched genetic material from a relative registered on a genealogy website. And he was only an officer very briefly. Now, prosecutors say not to be fooled by D'Angelo's demeanor. Prior to his arrest just two years ago, he was zooming around town on his motorcycle, hedging his bushes from a ladder, and was physically fit. That is until his early court appearances where he acted much like he is today. The next step in the process will be sentencing that will likely be in August, where we may hear from the victims themselves. Back to you.